Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in. It's Alexandra here with MD Ben. And today I'm starting the first video, which will be of a series of three appearing on LinkedIn and Facebook. So the next three Wednesday, two Wednesdays, you can uh, see the follow-up to this video. And for today's video, I wanted to focus on the concept of stacked energy facials, which is basically a fancy term for using radio frequency during facials. And I do want to talk about the two key hand pieces from the ND-Med device that can be used during these facials and protocols that you can come up with to use in your med spa or office. Please do feel free to use the comments. I'll be happy to answer questions. Again, this is streaming to both YouTube and LinkedIn, so I'll be looking out. Hi, Lori. Thank you so much for being here. So this concept of stacked energy facials is basically the when radio frequency is used during facials. And when we use radio frequency during facials, we're doing this to really help promote smoothing of the skin, tightening, firming, and you are going to get that extra bit of contour uh, when it comes to the facial. A lot of people want to leave a facial feeling like their face is less um, less bloated, less tired looking, more lifted. Maybe their cheekbones also look uh, more defined. And it's going to really help, depending on the RF being used and how strong it is, it can definitely help with the collagen and elastin building, which is what we really need. So a lot of times you will see facialists, uh, especially recently, who specialize in this facial sculpting, facial contouring. And these facialists in particular know the movements, the massage techniques to make this really nice and this contoured facial. But you can also use the addition of these radio frequency hand pieces, which will emphasize the results even better. And you're even seeing facial devices being sold that have the RF hand pieces attached to the actual facial device. Now, of course, in this instance, um, and especially any facial devices you're seeing, you know, that are a couple hundred dollars or something like this, this isn't going to be really strong radio frequency. These are going to be like you know, seeing an immediate result leaving the facial, but not something that's going to grow with time. Thank you guys so much. I am going to get to your questions here in just a moment. Um, so yes, again, we have this concept of the facial sculpting with the stacked energy. And usually with this, it's just going to be another added step to the facial. You're still going to be doing a double cleanse, probably a treatment mask, all those fancy things. And you're going to have that really nice RF to add. A lot of people will say it feels like a hot stone massage, that it's a really great feeling. It doesn't require um, any numbing. And um, New Beauty in particular, I know, has mentioned this as like a stacked beauty facial. Um, so I do like that term. It's like a beauty sandwich is... Um, a term that a new beauty I know uses. They may not be the ones that, you know, came up with that name, but I do really like it. Um, what's Lori saying? As a makeup artist, we try to achieve this every single day. M makeup artists blow my mind with what you guys can do with makeup. It's absolutely amazing. But for people that don't want to rely on makeup or, you know, want to emphasize their results even more, this is definitely the way to go. Um, and it doesn't always have to be, you know, a super expensive treatment. Hopefully, it really just depends. Now, of course, when it comes to the ND Med, this is a medical grade, you know, aesthetic device. Um, it can be sold typically to MDs, but not as a rule. So check your state. Um, sometimes nurses can also buy it, but a lot of times it is an MD, medical director, doctor. Um, but as estheticians, again, there are RF options for you to be using um, in your facials as well. So with ND Med, it's typically going to be the shape, the small shaper, sorry, the small and the mini shaper. 
So these are going to be really great for, you know, obviously by the name, small, mini, these are going to treat small sections of the face and really help with that RF energy reaching. Of course, with the mini shaper, you have up to a seven millimeter depth of penetration, which you're not going to get again with those, you know, couple hundred dollars uh, RF hand pieces that you'll see. So make sure that you you know you're checking and investing in the best rf that's right for your um office hi dolly thank you so much for being here so yeah let's get into sessions things like this um trisha's asking how many sessions are recommended for optimal results so with nd med and when doing like the mini shaper um, or the small, you're going to be typically um going once a week for the first month um, and this doesn't have to be like a full blown facial every time. This can, of course, be like a lunchtime uh, treatment, something where you're kind of like in and out within half an hour. But you should come once a week uh, for that first month. And then you can come every two weeks. You're going to get in about eight treatments and then let that collagen keep growing, boosting over the six months um, before you need that touch up. Now, when it comes to other RF that you're again stacking in facials, you can do this once a month with your monthly facial. You know, you might see the RF results, you know, just for that week or over that weekend, but it doesn't mean, um, you know, that it's not an amazing treatment. Let's see. Can stacked energy facials help with anti-aging concerns? Absolutely. So again, smoothing, fine lines and wrinkles, puffiness, allergies, all types of things. Are stacked energy facial suitable for all skin types? Basically, yes. <laughs> the contraindications for RF are gonna be more so things like metal implants in the face, pacemakers, defibrillators. I always say, guys, make sure you have an excellent intake form. Even if you are an esthetician, a solo SD or a spa, you wanna ask all the right questions. You wanna know um, all about your, your clients and your patients and take the best care of them possible. So these are things that you will want to check on. Um, so yeah, again, some of these RF facials are just simple facials you're going to have done um, in a local spa. They're going to be very instant, very short term, superficial, but they do give a really nice, beautiful boost before a big event. They do feel really wonderful during the treatment. And then for those of you that are in more of a medical type environment. You can definitely think of investing in the ND Med device. We have some great sales and specials going on. So definitely consider this. Again, this is the first video of three in this series. So I hope you guys can catch all three for the next two Wednesdays um, at 12. We'll kind of be going over all of this. Um, I see some more things rolling in here. Also with our F hand pieces. Typically you're doing this with like an ultrasound jelly, but if you are an MD pen professional, definitely use your human drive growth factor gel. And if you're using this for your RF application during the facial, it's not something you have to remove like this right after doing this, you can go into this being your treatment mask. So you could even put your led light on after you've completed um, the RF and you already have the gel on and then they're under the LED with the gel and it's gorgeous. So definitely try it that way as well. Hi, Sydney. How soon before a big event should someone get a stacked energy facial? If possible, try to get it um, in the 48 hours before your event. Um, that was what I would recommend. But even if you do it like on a Thursday, you should be okay if your event's on a Sunday. But best case scenario would be doing the facial on a Friday if your event is on Saturday. That would be best case uh, scenario. Let's see. Any post-treatment skincare routines recommended for maintaining? Yeah, of course. You guys know I'll happily talk about skincare routines. Um, so basically, as the provider doing this treatment, of course, again, you want to apply moisturizer afterwards, make sure you're sending your patient home with sunscreen, you can apply sunscreen after this, it's not like you're using any needles, uh, you haven't done any trauma to the skin. So definitely make sure you're 
applying sunscreen on your patient before they leave. Of course, having a topical growth factor in their skincare regimen is going to be amazing. They can get their growth factors with the Human Drive Growth Factor Gel, or if you're a huge fan of the Revita Peptide Moisture Cream, this does have the patent growth factor for the neck in there, as well as five other uh, separate growth factors that are different than the Human Drive. And then you also have your peptides and amino acids and, and things like this. So thank you so much, Lori. I know you're a huge fan of the gel. The gel's great, guys. You can even use it on your upper eyelids. Sydney, yes, yeah, Sydney's an esthetician. I love the Growth Factor gel with LED light. Me too. If you're looking for that glass skin, if you're looking for tightening and hydration, um, it's really like the best thing I've seen. Let's see. I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. I think I'm getting all of your questions, guys. Hey, Lori. Okay, yeah. So to drive this question home, she's asking, so this snatched contour look only lasts for as long as the facial is done? No. So even if it's a simple RF hand piece that you can buy online, you know, any esthetician or anyone, the general public, Again, these RFs are typically a treatment that's going to last temporarily. By temporarily, I mean like one to four days. When I'm talking about Endymed, again, you are working at a different degrees of Celsius. You're doing three preheating passes. You're doing seven therapeutic passes. So talking about the mini shaper, this is like a whole nother thing. You're working at a higher power. This is a totally different device. These are long-term collagen building results. Not every device is the same. So this is going to be much stronger focused energy. Um, but again, I'm talking to estheticians. So I do want to drive home the fact that estheticians are using other RF tools. They're not necessarily buying ND med. Um, but for long term results from RF, yes, you do need to buy something like ND med. Hey, Vera. Yeah. So with the RF, you do want something typically a little bit on the thicker side. Um, you could use what you could do, honestly, is use MD pens, pure hyaluronic acid serum, and then add a couple pumps of um, the gel to see if that's thick enough to your liking. I like strictly using the gel, but you do need something, you know, comparable to ultrasound jelly um, because you do need that level of, you know, thick moisturizer um, during the treatment. Thanks so much for being here. These videos will stay posted. If you guys missed it, you can go back and watch by all means. I hope you can catch the rest of this series. We're gonna get more into tightening. We're gonna get more into, uh, you know, chiseled contouring and things like this. But I really wanted to go over, the, you know, this concept of stacked energy facials. As you guys are on social media, you'll see, again, skin specialists and estheticians specializing in providing contoured looks after facials. So I wanted to, you know, focus on this concept. It's not going anywhere. It's super relaxing. Again, the results are instant. And with ND-Med, you're going to have the more long-term results. Um, and again, it's not going to necessarily be the, the price of a regular facial, but you're going to have more long-term uh, lasting results. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for being here. I look forward to seeing you guys again. Bye.